move out of the way. Akashi there. XM, they brought down Solo. Silent to dead. XM with the double kill. They're trying to take down Zing Q. Do they have enough damage to finish him off? Look at him. He's just tearing him apart. That is a support that just took out your carry. And now Whittle down. GG is called. One last black hole from the road, but it is not going to be enough. Creation and Liquid, they can finish up Negas here, guaranteed. But they're a little bit skittish about what the team fight looks like after that, especially with some of their buybacks being down like they are. Miro, Whoa. nice impale, hits on three, Zay goes for it, hits the finger onto the beast, and not get the kill, but still though, the uh -huh. Luna, oh my god, the Luna! She is doing damage and she oh. will take BB Team out of this game. Ready on the defense, they're gonna end up stepping into Noah, they get in with the jump, Cloud. Gonna get the shot opening, but the Winter's Curse is there in time, but the BKBs were out in time. So Munkushi can continue to push forward. The Dream Coil down on towards the Murano. He'll be cold in brace for now. They got the maximum damage taken out through. They do. Very nice. They burst through Watson and now 1W. They'll try and turn for more. DM. Be chased towards. They've got a hook shot coming in. In fact, no one. He's ready with the turnaround. He slams down the boat straight down towards the gyro. Pulls him on the tidal wave. There's oh, going to be back over the rear cage. The X man. He's back in and he's the X. No one. He was prepared for the relocate save and he puts a stop to it. They take down Munkushi. They may just find Chirurgeon as well. They will. No one sweeps him up with a tidal wow. wave. Completely breaks <laughs> the fight there. Oh my goodness, no one. <laughs> Keep the composure for the throw right. potentially. They get the hacks on the Kunk and the buyback now to 23 Savage. It's still a 4v5 advantage. Team Zero. BKB popped by Beyond. He has to run away. Oh, punch. Oil after several here. The Motorist kids are doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Beyond being brought back. He's dead. Does have buyback, though. The egg gets destroyed. Two dead now without buyback from Team Zero's side. And now they have to back away. Uh oh. And the Windrunner will. No. He is. He's going to get their wisdom, maybe? Oh, yeah. Waiting. He's got a torrent play here. Oh, and nice he got some with the silence. Take some back. This is going to be a hard kill. Yeah, he doesn't care about the kill. He's got the wisdom. Stampede. Oh, he doesn't go to his. Ah. Uh, it's really going to work. I think it's going to work. Ah, nice. Nah, nah, fine. I mean, Coil dropped down and Malrini. Oh, oh, nice play. <laughs> although, although, flame break, not pushed back yet. Still in trouble. There it is. They get the orchid. Second salvo, boat connects. And just like that, they use the lasso. Maureen? Yeah, he doesn't have his blink yet. Oh, <laughs> nowhere to go. Oh, they're body blocking each other, though. Maureen, Maureen, getting out of there. Barely. Yes, he does <laughs> escape. Or Tundra, and they have an Aegis to work with. They've taken the mid lane of Barracks, and they're looking to take this final tier two, uh, but heroic. Oh, oh, the tornado right as he blinked so in for clutch. the kill. And now the Manta, oh, he managed to dodge both of the stuns that were coming out from heroic. Their initiation falls flat, and Pure is going to be able It's a good collapse. They've got eyes on him, but again, he's not the one they want to jump. Copy. He's be able to turn with the setup on a copy. Forward. In fact, I believe that, that was yet Gunner. He comes in to block the arrow to make sure the copy can get the BKB off and jump away with the enchant totem. He, he will die life. for it and will also feed away the gem. But he goes, I don't know whether it's intentional or not, <laughs> but he goes into, well, save oh, copy, no, copy only momentarily. Oh, he's able to blink out in time for the X mark set up into the arrow. So copy will live. Gunner's gone, Fly's gone as well. Lennis throwing out these kisses from the side is probably going to cost him his life. I mean, you must come back in and be able to take down Maposhka, but I think now is they want to get out of this fight. It's a 3v4, collapse. And they're going to turn over towards Lelis. He's caught by this. He's going to jump. I mean, they're trying to burst Redan. Yuma has got the damage. He may just have enough to bring down Redan. It does. They're able to take out the Marana and maybe now look for more. Yuma heads over towards Lal. Fly. He's in. He comes in with a buyback. Able to offer up the control to allow them to take down Lal. Now over towards Mira. They go. Nouns. They'll take this fight. It was worth it from Gunner. It was in the my old age. out here. Yeah, this is a big moment to dodge, and, but... Oh. Okay, we got the Burrow Strike looking for the air. Oh, set up, but X Nova takes it. Nice pit of Malice, though. The Eclipse comes through, trying to dissuade them from coming any further. Toku taking quite a bit of an RP onto two heroes. Nothing to say with the Swashbuckle and his ult onto three. He's going to use the roll-up as well as Ace. He's a bit isolated. The Clive here is going to connect on three. Here's the meantime for Duraccio. And now the aggression from Game and Gladiators continues. They get two kills on two cores. Epicenter to follow from Quinn. Nothing to say. Not going to have much to say after this. That is for damn sure. Although he is pretty tanky with that shield crash. And the drinking buddies giving a little extra moves. People are double burrow strike from Quinn. And the damage is just unbelievable from Game and Gladiators. Triple kill for Ace. And this is going to be a full team wipe at the 17 minute mark. Wow.
message. That could do a lot for them. The extra armor trying to protect you. Oh, oh whoa, whoa, whoa. Can they get her? Looks for it. Fuel Scepter lift up. The connection, it's going to be there. Chain Sun? Oh, so much damage, but it's not quite enough. He gets the phase shift out. Still trying to beat into him is XM. They back away from that Luna. Broken for the moment. Do they have enough extra damage to throw into Mickey? Trying to take him down. Nietzsche's low too, but on the other side, Ame goes down. Still XM strong and in top of all of it. Mickey. But look at the Satanic. Oh, he's keeping him alive. Mickey living through it all. He don't want to die. As a takedown two, it was enough for the buyback Ooh. though. On to Lita, pulls them all in. They do with the rampage. You gotta be move forward. They're trying to scout out. They don't know. Now the flame break pushback runs in, tosses one away. How's it gonna work? They're immediately gonna take down ZinQ. Trying to see if they can get this finish onto XXS2. Everybody is surviving. XXS has gone 17 to one. There's the hook shot connection. Devastation of the highest degree as Team Liquid for the third year in a row is gonna be going to the international. That's right, we'll be seeing them at Will it be good to smoke into an Underlord next to a Tier 2 tower? Is Cloud9 going to rotate back to it? No, because they found something else. They were also making aggressive get his They ran off? into the Centaur, and Jabs is going to be able to get off his full swing of spells. He may still be dead, but his team is coming into it. Fisherman really goes and hits the hook shot onto the Omni Knight. A Requiem goes out, but most of the Cloud9 heroes have already popped their BKBs and backed away, and they're trying to get 23 damage. Big burst of damage, though, brings down no one. They do manage to hit a Shackle. Ooh, that finished them off. The a crit. big crit from Watson. Nails him right as 23 Savage is looking to wave farm away. And another room comes out. The SF, we talked about it. Once the BKBs are down, there is an exceedingly infinite number of disables. A shackle shot that lands. Can anybody stop Watson? No. He just right next to the pits. They're about to finish up the Roshan. Can they get there in time? No one. Hook shot goes out, but he grabbed the Aegis. 23 Savage. Now it's an opportunity to win the fight with two lives. Lorenov already hitting the big Requiem. Watson's dicing him up, though. This whirlwind is kicking in. The SF inside of the pit. He'll right coming out. Ollie in the corner trying to save Lorenov's life, and he does it. He gets the SF out of there. Jabs is still stuck, though, as is the support. Ollie has been left behind by his cores. 23 Savage is still around. Not sure where he went to, but it looks like he is angling for DM. That's not gonna happen. Too many disables and he's gonna lose his first life. And on his second life, is there anything he can do about it? No one's around to be able to help him out. Well, no one himself. The Storm Spirit is gonna go for it. Nice shackle shot. Ollie is here on the side, but if he shows himself, he's dead and improv. Tier fours. They're gone. They've got to do something soon, Tundra. Falcons. Pure's TPing in. He's going to go for it. Let's see what Pure can do. He's going to go straight over what's snaking. He's taking up the Oracle. Now turns to what's but Skid is able to get the link off. Pure wants to refresh a big oh my goodness. And they're coming in from White Mod. Sets up the fight to fall into the hands of Pure. The base, it's been defended. Falcons, they have to get on the retreat. They're not going to get the chance to, though. Pure jumps over. He's got the setup on towards Bowery. They're going to be able to take down the pipe go as well. Come at them. Falcons. Ooh. He'll show himself. Okay. He's in with the Doom. Does he reflect it? This time around, Amar opts to go with the aggressive use of the Doom, and that means that indeed he's been caught out by the Lotus or Pure. Goes straight into the midst of the fight. They're chasing Amar down. Amar trying to split off to the side. They're looking towards Snaking. Ramses is in with the control. Had the X mark ready. Amar has the buyback. Leader. The boat's coming in, and indeed Amar out for 100. Crit's gone as well. They could turn it for more. The Rolling Thunder controls Pure for now. Skeeter, though, gets caught by the Fear from Sack to push back. He'll buy back. But Amar and Crit, they don't have buyback available. Pure goes straight and aggressive up towards the Founder. It's time to push off forward. The Aegis has gone, but they've taken so much from Falcons. And Falcons, it's Skeeter against the world. Tundra, they can keep this push going onto the tier fours. I think they've done it, Fong. It looks like they have. They GG have. Been called. GG is called Tundra in spectacular. So there much is. damage. Garaccio does take the enemy wisdom room. All right, Copy's in there. Have to go in. Copy. And put Electric Vortex with the ult from the snap. Is that? It's just dead. Gunner uses the Doom. He does have the buyback on the twin, though. Garaccio pops the BKB, trying to get back to his fountain. The damage from Yuma is absurd. Triple kill. Will he just fountain farm at this point? Why not? Ultra kill. Oh, another? Ah, uh, he's disarmed. Will you give him the rampage? No. He committed to. Oh, Gleipnir into the instant silence, onto the Weaver, the Sunray trying to heal up the Weaver at the last moment here, but no, down goes Yuma. And of course, Doom left with very little resources as Copy is the next hero on the list. He does have mana to get away, trying to kite Quinn to the high degree. 
jumps in really deep and just gets insta gift with such low HP, very risky play. Nice drop from Seller to dodge some damage here, but four kills for Gaiman, and this should be a full set of racks, if not more. Lalas being slowed to a crawl just outside of his fountain. So close, yet so far. Full team wide. To this game, 5,000 gold, it's all that separate them. BB team have been a part of some heartbreaks. Look at the swing that's happened now. This is their last clip. Okay, no can they more. control their emotions though? I mean, There's we'll a see. buyback on Weaver. But they're just gonna drop it. They're just going for it. Akashi, he's very strong. Save needs to find the right target. Glimmer Cape walking forward. Want to find a Makoto. Second round, but the lasso is not going to be good enough. It is not going to be good enough. Eyes on the ancient. They're taking it down as it starts to fall. The Gabe, clip there's, is there. There's it's creep. through backdoor protection. It's through backdoor protection. A little more damage is all they need. They just need a bit more. Oh. Finding one. Oh, they can't quite there's get it. There's a lot of heroes here, though. Oh, yeah, he gets it. A blast immediately. There's the disruption. Now connecting onto two. Mortimer's Kisses is out. Psyka BKB is already used. How much damage do they have? Akashi right on top of them. They get the Doom now onto the Luna as they try and bring these heroes down and kill them off. Is it quite going to be enough through the Aegis? It will. But still, Luna will die a two for three so far and might even end up losing more. Makoto turns to fight on a GPK. Miero goes in too. Now Saika onto Makoto does have the Boundless Strike. Oh, Turn around right. with the hit. And now Connection didn't have enough to spear. It managed to connect on a GPK, but they don't have. Tier Jr., who they're going to run into, got the smoke on him. X back into Brambles, try and pull him away with Drinking Buddies, but they get pulled back fear. in by the Tidal Wave, now the Overgrowth. Monkoshi is going to come in big time, though, with his Eclipse, and his BKB, can he win this fight for one dub? It's going to be a two for two exchange. Well, going to go on to save. He's very tanky, still has the Cookie, too. Yep. They even pop Epicenter, and they just cannot find anything. Instead, they're going to take Mortimer's Kisses as Miero. Not able to get to the high ground, but GPK will come to save the day. Nice attempt from Fly to save him, but it's not to be this game. Game number two has Big Bonanza written all over it. So two deaths already for Nouns. Hume is in Nightfall instant looking overgrowth. To clean everybody up. Copy desperately trying to at least find one kill in this fight for them. As Save still remaining alive. He gets shackled, finally brought to his knees. But it's a full team wipe. As now it's mis <laughs> And it's time to go. Will be the recipient of this gank, if you want to call it that. 50 seconds of no buyback. A big overgrowth to Toronto, Tokyo to send NA back home. Nice attempted save there from Fly, but it is not to be. Like we've said, well, it's two Bs twice, actually, because of BB team. As Gunner desperately looking for one more kill. GP does fall. But it's an ultra kill for Nightfall. Oh, oh that's not one way to oh, oh, no. Well, let's pretend we didn't hear that hook shot. It never happened. Uh, but that was not the way to try and start the final fight, potentially, the game. Never mind, they still have a chance here with the Wukong's Command laid down. No, they don't. He got pushed out of it. So the Wukong's Command gets put to a stop. They've got the Shackle on a Snake King. He's pretty tanky. They're Morty taking Zora's zero been, damage. Being kicked out by Amar. I mean, they're, they're just not doing anything they're at all. Not doing anything. They've just got to run. They're getting picked apart one they're by one. Tanky. It's all too much here for one W at this point. Falcons, they'll kill off the four of them. Respect the last one left alive. As Hector is going to walk directly into two of them. Vitaly is there. He's so broken. Low. Broken. Dead. <laughs> He's so ready to use those ages. Are they going to go for more Lumpy? Trying to find KJ. They can't get in in time, but there it is. The hook shot. That breaks it. It gets Hector out of trouble, but Schofield, he's going to pay the price. Vitaly dying. Back and away. Divai Lama jump in, find that spider. Instead, they get the bigger target in the analog. Now, Hector does manage to kill the Enigma, but he is all alone. Now, if there is one hero that you want to be all alone, smoking into the high ground. Smoking a Team Spirit, Team Spirit holding the high ground. They get a ward up there. Mira's going to deward it. JT already finding himself slow. Nothing to say. He's going to try and stop it. He pops his BKB to turn around and do him up Radon. Radon is throwing out the damage, though. The Guardian Angels put onto Radon. He is healthy as hell, and he'll not die to a nothing to say Dragonite. That'll never be enough.
and nothing seems to be enough That's for it. G2IG as they will call it quits in not just the series, but the international. A swift exit for them. Stick around. I'm surprised they're back in here, actually. There's no more BKB. Oh! Oh my god, the rage buyback as well! Oh dear! Gives him here. Yeah. Lornoff throwing out the Chakram. Analog goes in with a BKB and his Magnetize. It looks like Roche will be for Heroic. Lornoff desperately trying to get over there. It's going to be close, actually. He's Lornoff it. takes the Aegis and they kill no. Roche as well. They have the arena, but everybody's outside of it, outside of Lornoff, who's basically impossible to kill here. The Mars has fallen. K1 trying to focus onto jabs. And Analog gets punched into the air. We have a TP buyback from the Shadow Demon. Analog, despite having the Blade Eye after the Aegis, does drop as Jab somehow getting out with barely any HP. Trying to catch them off guard here. They still got a little bit of left of the M damage. He's gonna try to jump. He goes straight towards Radon. Radon's able to get the BKB in the clip, but he's been caught by the two. He's falling so fast. He's got a buyback immediately. Collapse. Jumping over towards the supports in the back lines. The Doom did get reflected, so XX has had to back out of the fight for now. Ame. He's in on top of GQ, takes him down. Lyle's getting low, but Ame, he's the first to fall, and Lyle, he's ready to jump in and look for more. XM has to go for the ball. I need TP if they got anything to stop, oh, but they don't. Look at these death timers. They're going to be able to do it. He buys a moon shard on Radon. They're looking to close it out. There's no oh glyph. Oh my goodness. Oh, no way. This is how They're it ends. They're onto the tier fours. They don't have the buybacks. XXS is on cooldown. Army, Army doesn't have the money. It's absolutely over. It's over. And gentlemen, Team Spirit onto the Ancient. They'll take game one. What sort of response you can get? He'll get another buyback coming out. Spirit. Maybe their final fight, they're gonna try and give it everything they've got, but Mira's already been caught by the Hussam, Mira's gone. Out for 45, no buyback available on him. The top racks have been taken, lol to fall. Out for 75, the Mega Creeps are out. Extreme Gaming here, moments away from what it feels like knocking Team Spirit out of the competition. As they get the jump onto Radan. The Terra Blades out, no buyback available for him. GG has been caught, it's the end of the road here.